Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I love you guys so much. We're going to be doing why did I meet this person? And we have some chakra crystals here as uh, along with this uh, clear quartz. So we're gonna do a little bit different we've got the chakra crystal. So if it looks a bit different, that is why. So we're gonna see why did I meet this person? Please choose group number one, number two, number three and number four all the timestamps will be in the description and down below in the comments so please choose group number one two three or four as to why i made this person and let's get started hi group number one let's see what's going on for you for your group so we have this gorgeous throat chakra let's have a look and see what's going on that could mean communication is coming through that sort of thing okay so we have a lot of cards here so i'm just going to lay them out and then we're just going to get started okay we've got emotions let go show the world the real you Confidence is key to success. Love yourself first. Chemistry. Separation. Yes. Soul healing. And raising your standards. Right, okay. Let me just move these up a little bit and then we'll just get started. Okay, so this person is definitely here to show you the real you. This person is showing you to let go, to be more spontaneous, to be basically to be you essentially they're basically showing you that they tell me why have you blocked yourself off so much why are you not forgiving yourself why are you not being kind to yourself that's basically the questions that i'm getting because i feel like this person is creating a massive soul healing thing for you and uh, i definitely feel like they're, they're getting you to raise your standards and to put your foot down because there's quite a lot of emotions within this connection they're quite intense emotions. I'm feeling quite like a raw, kind of like this sort of feeling. So I definitely feel like it could be quite intense sexual energy or there could just be quite an intense um, connection in a sense that, even obviously if it's not a sexual connection, um, it could, or it could be a sexual connection, but do you know what I mean? There doesn't have to be a sexual connection. It could even be like a family member, that sort of thing. I don't feel like it's like this sort of thing. It's like, it's showing you to put your foot down. It's telling you to really kind of go for it and say actually i'm going to show you what i'm really made of i'm going to show you the real you i'm going to show you how amazing i am and how much confidence i have and even if i don't even feel it it's in there it's here and it's here for help me how heal my soul and for my soul healing journey this person is really here for you to actually tell you to say yes as well to be more spontaneous and also, if you're in separation with this person, that is essentially why, because they're essentially away from you. So you can focus on yourself and loving yourself first. But I definitely feel like there is chemistry here. So this person could actually come back, but I definitely feel like it may be a little while yet because you still need to focus on yourself, okay? So let's see from the tarot. Essentially, this connection is the Three of Wands and the future is the Empress. So I definitely feel like I'm not seeing you two coming together really intensely. I feel like for a few of you, you could come together if you are in separation. But I feel more of you are kind of going off on your own. And the person watching this is the person who's going to go off on their own and look for better things. But this person has essentially helped you to become a much more independent, gorgeous individual in a sense that they're, telling, they're, they're helping you to become more well-rounded. And they're also helping you to communicate your emotions on a much more stronger, I won't say stern way, but like a stronger way where you are breathing into your own destiny, which sounds very like weird, but <laughs> essentially you are doing what feels right to you. And this may feel a little bit kind of like, I don't want to detach from this person, but they want you to, because they want you to focus on yourself and they want you to focus on self-love in terms of sexual um, intimacy as well. In how do you want to be intimate with somebody if this is a sexual connection? Obviously, it's a family member. It's not going to be that. But um, I definitely feel like this is a certain situation where you are going to be birthing a new you, which is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like this person could actually, as I say, want you to help you to be more spontaneous. You could want to travel more. They could be there... It could be, sorry, it could be here to show you to be more spontaneous and to travel more. Maybe you might be scared of travelling and they might just be pushing you to say, go on, look and see what's out there for you because it's going to be absolutely amazing. And if you have the urge to travel, then bloody do it. I don't feel like a lot of you here could be Geminis. They're just telling me to go out of your comfort zone and it might be scary, but it's going to be okay and I'm here for you and I am 
sending you lots of love within this reading so thank you so much for watching i really hope this helped and this resonated if it resonated then comment down below uh feel free to subscribe to my channel my name is the crystal girl it's been an absolute pleasure reading for you if you'd like a private reading with me all the information is down below in the description you can contact me on email or on instagram please like and subscribe and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here today we are here with the root chakra and let's see what's going on for you in this connection why did i meet this person let's have a look so we have spirit guides positive expectations beauty make music and financial flow we also have practice meditate and contemplate free yourself new love pay attention to red flags and alchemy there's a lot of different energies going on here i feel like there's definitely a lot of messages going to come through so this might not resonate for everyone but there's going to be lots of different kind of messages coming through okay so having a look in the tarot why did you meet this person and what's the outcome okay wow this is so confusing this reading <laughs> you guys must be really confused because i'm extremely confused so let's have a look i'm just gonna have a little think about what's going on here I feel like this is very similar to group number one where I feel like you met this person to figure out who you are and to realize what the sort of person you want to be with in a romantic relationship. I don't feel like this is more a romantic relationship here. I feel like it's actually giving you the decision whether you actually want to be with this person. I feel like you have an option to be with this person or not um, in an actual stable relationship because I definitely feel like there is a stable relationship here. But you need to be careful as to figure out what this person's intentions are. Because I feel like for some of you, this person could be a little bit dodgy. And they could have a little bit of kind of badness to him. Like a bad guy, bad boy, bad girl. Don't know, one of those. But basically, um, I feel like you need to meditate and contemplate on this situation. And give yourself space and time away from it to figure out really what you want to do. If you do feel like you actually want to be with this person. I feel like this person could have also given you an opportunity of some sort to do with money um, or career, that sort of thing. They could have helped you to um, learn a new skill. Um, I definitely feel like they see your beauty and they see your potential. This could even be like a teacher, that sort of thing. I'm seeing like a teacher pupil kind of situation. But I definitely feel like this, from this situation, it is very, very positive. This is all really, really good. There's nothing bad I'm seeing here. I just feel like somebody could be a little bit dodgy if they are, if you are sensing that already. Um, but I don't feel like this person wants to be with you. If you don't feel that, then possibly not. Obviously, if it's a teacher, then obviously not. Unless, you know, that sort of situation is a thing. But I definitely feel like this person could really, really like you, okay? Because you are definitely working on a new skill here with the alchemy card. And the spirit guides have brought you to this person to show you basically the sort of person you could actually be with if you want to be with this person. I hope it's making sense because I'm very confused. Um, so basically the potential here is the fall, but the outcome is the uh, five of swords. So I'm just going to have a look into what this uh, fall energy is. It's very, I would say, very positive. I feel like you're learning a lot from this person. Whether you're actually physically learning from them. Or you're just like emotionally learning from them. You're like, actually, I deserve like this, this, this and this. I feel like it definitely could help you to play an instrument because we have make music and we also have music here. So I definitely feel like they could help you to sing. You could be doing singing lessons with this person. You could be doing producing music with this person. I feel like they are a bit dodgy. Okay, so we have the five, uh, no, sorry, six of cups. Okay, what's the outcome here, please? And the Eight of Cups. So I definitely feel like you probably would be well walking away from this person if they can't give you the emotional stability. But if you do feel like you want to be with this person on a romantic... I definitely feel like they would want that for you and they want that with you. I feel like you could have met this person at in work. Um, as I say, there could be somebody who like could be like a colleague or somebody who could help you learn something. Like training, I'm hearing teacher training, that sort of thing. That's basically what I'm seeing. I don't really see anything else. I just see you improving yourself and some sort of skill. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, let me know if it does. Um, comment down below if it resonates. If you didn't, then let it fly. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, all the information is down below. The subscribe button is down below. And all the information is down below for my private readings. If you would like to get a private reading with me, 
Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the button is down below. If you'd like to uh, get a private reading with me, the information is on the screen here. And if you would like to connect with me, you can connect with me through Instagram or email. And I love you so much. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. Love you all so much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you so, so much. <coughs> Excuse me. So, <coughs> I feel like you'd have trouble communicating with this person because my throat really like backed up there. I was like, back up, back up. <laughs> so we have the gorgeous heart chakra here. So I don't feel like you could have a heartfelt connection with this person or you could just love them a lot. So let's see what we have. We have love. Oh, look, love. <laughs> you could love them a lot. Okay, we have love, sexuality, body movement, music, have faith in your dreams. Your dreams need a practical plan. Honeymoon, true love. Keep an open mind and mother healing. Right, this is very, very clear to me. Much better than group number one and two. Not that I'm being biased, but this is so much easier to read. Okay, so for this reading, I definitely feel like you are learning how to love. You're learning how to be sexual. You're learning how to be intimate. This connection is definitely to do with true love, not to do with family, okay? Because I'm seeing a lot of sexual energy here. So I'm definitely feeling like this person is um, having a bit of issues with their mother. And you met this person so you could be with them, okay? You, there is a po big possibility that you could be with this person. So keep an open mind with that. Because we've also got honeymoon here right next to love. So I definitely feel like this is a love connection. I can see quite a strong bond. And I'm I'm almost clenching my hands together as well. So I definitely feel like you, once you guys have actually come together, I definitely feel like there's no letting go. Even if you are in separation, you guys are, are pretty much probably going to get back together. Or you're going to know this person in another life. But you will see this person again at some point, even if it's not in the 3D. But I don't feel like for, for a lot of your big percentage of you, definitely going to meet each other in the 3D. I feel like this person could also help you to improve your body. Um, not I'm saying that you don't you need to improve your body. But I definitely feel like they want, they're, in, they're getting you to move your body more. So they possibly could, this could even be to do sex. They could be opening up to more sexual things. Or it could be the fact that they want you to, um, you're feeling more adventurous with your exercise regime. You could want to move your body more. You could want to like kind of get out more, um, socialize even. Um, I definitely feel like you two have a music thing in common or there's some sort of music element there of some sort. Could even be you like the same music or you connected over a certain song, even there's something like that. So definitely feel like with body movement, there could be a certain element to do with like yoga, uh, exercise, dancing. You could have met this person at a dance class. You could, they could love your body. You could love their body, that sort of thing. But I definitely feel like they're encouraging, like they're not almost encouraging, they could even encourage you. But for some of you, I feel like since you're with this person, this person's been around you, you've wanted to move your body more and you've wanted to be in your body more, which is really lovely. I love that. It's actually, you feel like you, you want to get up more and get out and do stuff like run and exercise and dance and stuff like that, which is absolutely lovely. As I say, definitely feel like this person is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay, so with this, uh, have faith in your dreams and your dreams need a practical plan. I love this because both this is to do with dreams. Love that. So I definitely feel like this person could have come in your dreams for sure. 100% on that one. Obviously, this won't resonate for everybody. So just take this as with a grain of salt, you know. So I definitely feel like for some of you, they could come in your dreams or you could be dreaming about them or you could have daydreams about them. I feel like you have maybe possibly dreamt about them before they've come in. But also I definitely feel like this person makes you feel really dreamy as well. It's almost like it's too good to be true. Even if you aren't with them, I felt like when you were with them, it was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, if you haven't met them yet, it's gonna be wow. This is amazing is what I'm seeing. So why have you met this person for the tarot? We have the chariot and the outcome, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the seven of swords with the two of wands okay so you've met this person to as i say move more i feel like they could encourage you to get out and kind of be more sociable and more extroverted they could encourage you to travel and i feel like they are quite far away as well if you don't if you're not seeing them then they definitely are very far away but i feel like they live quite far away as well and they could encourage you to travel more definitely or they could encourage you to travel more towards them which could also increase your incompetence with travel um, I don't know what this Seven of Swords is about. I feel like it's almost very sneaky energy. So I feel like you may not want to actually be with them for some of you. We are not sure if it's going to work out. So what's the overall energy? What's this um, Seven of Swords? Fits? What's this Seven of Swords? Thank you. Seven of Swords always confuses me. What's the Two of uh, Wands, please? Thank you. 
Okay, so they're definitely helping you to become more balanced. I think that we have the sun. So definitely potential for some of you to be with this person. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords and the Temperance. So there's definitely like a balance coming forward with the Chariot. It's like why you've met this person is to increase your confidence um, with your own personality. Almost like giving your whole self to people. Um, obviously and making sure they give it back that sort of thing like balancing out your personality with somebody else and thinking okay I'm going to give this much and I'm going to wait for them to give this much and it's almost like they are um, bringing up a lot of thoughts in you that make you kind of question your past relationships or your past um, situations with people where you haven't been appreciated I definitely feel like they could have actually started something to do with business or they could have offered they, they could have offered you something very very lovely the outcome of this we have the three of cups with the queen of pentacles i definitely feel like you could be with this person but the funny thing is is i'm seeing this queen of pentacles on her own so possibly they could be like out celebrating while you're on your own and they could almost be still thinking about you while they're still celebrating if you are separated if you are still with this person i feel like there is a potential for you to come together more in a more social setting so you could be kind of hanging out with their friends if it becomes more serious i definitely feel like there is a possibility obviously if you are separated for some of you i definitely feel like you're going to come together and you're going to celebrate this and you're going to come more into your queen energy and i love forgot the queen of pentacles and the ace because it's almost like you're carrying over this pentacle to the queen and it's like hell yeah this is i'm ready for this so i hope this makes sense um let me know if it did uh if it didn't resonate then just let it fly if it did resonate please comment down below i'd love to know i love reading your comments guys you're absolutely amazing you guys just make me so happy <laughs> and i love the fact that you're supporting me on my journey so thank you so much also if you'd like to subscribe the red button is down below also if you'd like to get a private reading with me you can email me or instagram me uh, instagram message me we have the information right here on the screen and also all the options as to what readings I do are in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see, why did you meet this person? We have the gorgeous clear quartz. So this could mean that this, this, uh, this uh, connection is very pure and very lovely and smooth, but we'll see. So we have nature cycles. We have environmental awareness, self-reliance, career change, yoga. Don't let the past hold you back. Flirt, forgiving and learning, wedding, attraction, children, self-forgiveness, ready, set, go. Oh, guys, you've got a lot of cards. I did definitely pull out a lot of cards for you. I definitely felt like they need to do that. Okay, so I definitely feel like they're helping you to improve yourself. A lot of you guys have had this in your groups. Um, but I definitely feel like this is almost helping you to move on to something much bigger so i feel like they could help you with a career change to do with yoga or they could i feel like they could have come through your third eye when you have been doing yoga they could have like popped into your mind you'd be like oh who's that and then you could have met them like three days afterwards um i definitely feel like this person is someone who wants to be committed to you but i definitely feel like there's some sort of energy here that needs to be released to do with self-forgiveness because we've got self-forgiveness and ready to let go. So it's almost like you need to let go of any guilt or anything that kind of holds you back from your from being the confident, gorgeous self that you are. Because I definitely feel like once you've done this, it's almost like ready, set, go, hell yeah, let's go with this. Because I definitely feel like you could actually meet you could have met this person when you had a career change. They could have helped you have a career change. But they see you as this gorgeous person. I'm really connected to this self-reliance card. It's almost like it's really standing out to me. So I definitely feel like they've seen you as someone who's gorgeous. I feel like a lot of you are single in this reading. And you could have met this person um, because you wanted to possibly be with them. Or you could have been like flirting with them. You could have had a sexual relationship with them. I'm not seeing this as a family member. I'm seeing this as more of like a romance or sexual connection. There's some sort of connection to nature because we have nature cycles and environmental awareness. I'm just going to see what this is. What is this? So it could actually help you to get out more, like kind of maybe you go for walks with this person. You could be exploring more with this person. They could have helped you to explore more or they could they can help you to explore more. And basically I feel like for some reason they're showing me in the past you've been cooped up a lot inside, um, possibly inside internally, like in your actual like emotionally or like physically inside you've been like indoors a lot and they're helping you to kind of go out and kind of be more active in a sense i can see you walking a dog so possibly could be walking a dog with this person but it's definitely attraction and i feel like there's 
children and a wedding to do with this person so i don't feel like there's some sort of like long-term commitment that could be to do with this person and we also have done it in the past hold you back so i definitely feel like there could be some sort of trust issues to do this connection either could be on their side or your side where one of you is just kind of very confused about what you should do should you kind of go forward with this or should you not and i definitely feel like I, for a lot of you there's a sense of i've had some bad times in the past i don't really want to go forward with this but that's what they're telling you they're telling you to be self-reliant focus on you what do you want do you actually really want to be this person and don't let the past hold you back because i feel like there's a lot of good stuff for you so why did you meet this person you have the king of pentacles which is amazing definitely a lot of money stuff going on with career change so the overall outcome is the three of swords in reverse the uh ten of wands the seven of cups and the star that needs to go in the upright sorry guys <laughs> um this is definitely a divine connection this is the outcome here this is why i definitely feel like it could be to do with money or they could be an earth sign somebody who's trying to help you to be more grounded and kind of i feel like they've actually given you the confidence to be more yourself because i feel like you are a quite a high overthinker you're a quite an overthinker and it has affected you in your career and possibly in you moving forward just generally I feel like you could be quite a person with quite high anxiety. I feel like this person has almost settled you down and say, it's okay, I'm here for you. Um, even if they are not here anymore, I feel like they have helped you in that sense. So the overall energy, um, what's going to happen in the future is the Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups and the Star. So this is somebody who's so connected to you on a, on a divine level. They have gone through a lot of shit themselves, but they're actually kind of getting over it now. And I feel like this, is, this could be you as well. Um, I feel like they could have almost helped you get over your shit from the past. As in, don't let the past hold you back. And I feel like you are connecting more with your third eye. I feel like both of you could have yoga in common or you could like both like doing yoga. Um, if not, I just don't feel like this is a divine connection. This needed to happen. And this has helped you have more options as to actually... They've actually changed my mind on relationships, possibly. They could have changed your mind on how you see other people in a, in a love connection. It's almost like, do you know what? They've raised my standards now. Um, I can't go back, <laughs> which is really, really good. And it's almost like now you're letting go of this old past. You're going to have so many more options. And they're going to be so divinely guided for you, which is absolutely amazing. My heart is full on going for it. I feel so open hearted right now, you guys. So even if you aren't with this person, I definitely feel like they've helped you become more open hearted. Even if it's been quite a crash and burn connection where it's almost like come in, really amazing, really intense. And they left and, hurt and, hurt and gave you almost heartache. It has helped you to be so much more stronger, so strong. And it's helped you get through this horrible, intense energy out the other side. And now you're going to have so many more options because you're so much more open to in infinite possibilities. And amazing possibilities that are going to be really spiritual and really good for you. Sorry if you just hear me do a massive like breathe in. I don't know why I had to massively breathe in like that. So thank you so much for watching guys. Sorry, I need to adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. So thank you for watching guys. If you'd like to, please comment down below if this resonated. If it doesn't resonate, then let it fly. Also, if you'd like to subscribe down below, I would absolutely love that. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below as to all the readings that I offer. I also, um, you can connect with me through Instagram or you can connect with me through email. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Guys, as I was putting my cards back, I got the song You're the One That I Want from Greece. So just keep that in mind. Maybe look up the lyrics. Okay. Bye.